didn't already know, there has been a Swedish exchange student walking around the halls of Pikesland High School. Let's hear what she had to say. Hi, I'm Marissa Weiss, and I'm here with Anna from Sweden. And um, who are you staying with while you're in America? I'm staying with Deborah Cotroni's family. Um, yeah. <laughs> How long will you be staying here? For a year. I came here the 2nd of August, and I'm going to stay to the 13th of July. How long did it take you to get here? Uh, 24 hours, like 20 hours almost. Wow. Okay. Um, what are the differences that you see between the schools of America and the schools in Sweden? Everything. It's the only thing that's the same is the classes, and they are 40 minutes. Uh, we we don't have to go to high school if we don't want to, and the kids who do they take more responsibility for their classes. I mean, if you don't want to go to class, you don't have to, and no one cares. And you can be the whole way through whenever you want, and you don't need passes for everything, and you can leave school. And it's much more freedom, but I guess it's because it's safer. Um, uh, I guess. Did the majority of kids go to school? Yeah, they do, because if you don't go to our Swedish high school, it's very hard to get a job. So, but a lot of kids, like you have college, and we don't, we have like university, and it's not so common that people go there. Like in here, if I understand right, many people go to college, like everyone almost. All right, um, let's see. What American things like clothes and music and movies do you have in Sweden? I think we have pretty the same, but it comes to Sweden like one year after it's been here. So, and the biggest thing in clothes is Levi's jeans, and it's always been Levi's. I mean, I think that's a fashion we're never going to end. And, yeah, well, everyone have like almost killed me when I said that we pay $100 for Levi's back home. But clothes is much more expensive in Sweden than it is here. Yeah, and how old do you have to be to drive in Sweden? We have to be 18 years old, and we have to take driving lessons. And we can start to take driving lessons when we are 16. And it costs us about $1,000 to take a license. And if you don't make the test when you're 18, you have to take it again. And then you have to pay another $1,000. So it's very different. Well, how is money, like related from American money to Swedish money? $1 is eight Swedish crowns. So. I really don't know how to explain it, but it's yeah. just like that. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you like best about America? I don't know. It's so different. I mean, first, I, when, I came, when I was home, I thought, like, America is Beverly Hills. I was like, it's Beverly Hills. And then I came here and was kind of, it's not Beverly Hills. And I was kind of disappointed. But then you start, now I've been here for almost two months, and I start to realize the good thing about it. And I really like all my friends here, and I like the school because it's much easier. <laughs> I mean, I stop class like 12, 20 each another day, and that's just great. <laughs> so I guess it's the school for my friends. So what do you think is better in Sweden than in America? Mm, I guess the society, because I mean, I can go at 3 o'clock in the middle of the night, and no one cares, and I'm safe. And. I don't know, it's, it's much more freedom, I think, uh, that's what I like. Grand Report would like to thank Anna for taking the time out to talk to us, and we hope she has a good stay here in America. Yeah.